Hello viewers, welcome back. Today I present you Michael Walden magnet motor engine, this image over here. It's really amazing. You will see that this is basically, it works similarly to the standard uh, car engine. But let's get to the drawings and see what Michael Walden imagined how this could work. Hello viewers, check this out. This is the magnet motor engine by Michael Walden, yeah? so this that's, this is something which looks really interesting. As we all know, well, we are basically educated people, and we all know that this is the similar engine like the engine we have in our fuel, like the fuel engine. So let's start explaining one by one these components and how Michael Walden uh, had idea to transfer and to make a similar uh, engine which is powered by the magnet power. Yeah? So let's see how this all should work. Let's start from the beginning. Okay, this, this will be our cylinders, yeah? And this is not, of course, like this in the air, these cylinders, this is the part of the engine block. They are not just in the air, yeah? So this is mounted like part of some engine block. Of course, this is it. So inside of the cylinders, we have the pistons, yeah? So this inside, and let me hide the cylinder, now in the engine block, let's say, fully. Now these are the pistons. Yeah? Pistons are going up and down. And how do they move? Yeah? So they, for they to move up and down, they need to be connected to the crankshaft. So this is on the bottom. This is everybody in our car has a crankshaft. And this is the special, special part of the yeah steel or I don't know which material it is, but it's designed exactly in this way, separated by 90 degrees. And on this are four pistons. So basically, if I select now the pistons, you will understand that crankshaft uh, it's the, let's say, part of the engine which transfer the circular motion, you can see it's in four positions, to the reciprocating motion which goes up and down. Yeah? So this is how we have the fuel coming to the pistons inside of the cylinders and then the expansion uh, created in the cylinders creates this to go up and down in a circular motion yeah? and of course the the crankshaft is this part of the engine which transferred the um, circulating motion to reciprocating motion yeah the perfect perfect thing which is designed i don't know 200 years ago then you can see instead of this um, pistons yeah so these pistons of course in this magnet motor engines will be uh, the magnets, yeah, they will not be just part of the aluminum or part of the, I don't know, steel. They will just be uh, permanent magnets, yeah. And uh, let's say polarity, it can be one or other way around, yeah. So it's not that important. And so this is the so the magnets, permanent magnets, will move inside of the cylinders up and down through the crankshaft. Then on the top we have another shaft on which are permanent magnets. So this will be actually our stator magnets in, in this case. Yeah? So stator magnets, they are stationary, but they will spin. Yeah? They will spin. And of course, if you can see, let's say if, we, if I select just this piston and, and this, you see in this position, when the, they will repel each other. So like poles repel each other. So that's it. And now if you can imagine, so other pistons, so this will also spin, this stator magnets will spin on the, on this shaft and like every piston when it comes to the that it's like pole yeah so it will uh, repel itself from the, the stator magnets on the top and that will uh, let's say enable that this engine spins and yeah? this engine spins so how this will spin so there are several ways so basically this this magnets on the top can be controlled by small small motor for example and, or it can be, as I think, but it's not designed in the engine, it can be just connected with the crankshaft, yeah? So, so this belt, uh, so this belt with some, uh, yeah, will be created. Uh, I think it can help with the same amount of um, dudes that it spins, um, yeah, let's say, in the same way, this top and bottom uh, yeah, shafts, yeah, crankshaft and this shaft for the stator magnets, yeah, so they can be in line, yeah, so if we have this, um, this type of mechanism, yeah, uh, it will be in line spinning of, of both crankshaft 
and the uh, stator magnets on their shaft. So this is how we I think I think it should work. It's not stated clearly in the patent, so that's how I imagine it. Because these upper magnets can be controlled by the motor, for example. Yeah. And then what we have then, yeah? so you can see, so they will repel each other. So that's now clear. We have uh, the, on the on the bottom we will have on the crankshaft circular motion, which is created by these magnets. So this these magnets will create. Uh, circular motion of the crankshaft and the crankshaft will be our output in this case yeah and connected to the uh, alternator or the energy generator yeah so yeah and then we have the last part which is this red part and you can try to imagine what it is yeah so it's not that difficult so this part should be the flywheel yeah so just a standard piece of steel yeah nothing special piece of steel which will retain the momentum yeah? so it has some weight so the, the flywheel has some weight it's also uh, we have the flywheel in the car yeah? and it's retains some momentum yeah? so in this case uh, the when we let's say start this engine by help of the motor yeah? and then they will uh, repel each other uh, these magnets will repel each other we will have the circular motion on the on the crankshaft and then uh, uh, this flywheel will actually help for this not to stop somewhere in between yeah? but it can't because it's anyway some mechanism i think should be controlled in this way uh, to so that all this works uh, let's say uh, in, in line yeah? so that's how i imagine it yeah? but anyway that's basically it. this flywheel this is just a piece of round steel will be used to retain momentum the force um, that this can continue to spin yeah so so if we have some problem that, that's why we have the flywheel to continue spin the crankshaft yeah? and then we should have some kind of output yeah or directly this could be on the wheels like we have the, this mechanism can be connected to the wheels and and let's say run the run the vehicle yeah? and it's also in this pattern it stated that this magnet motor engine can be used in a car yeah? so they please read uh, in description below you can find the link for the pattern there is a var various applications for which this can be used but this is one of it yeah? so uh, very interesting design I spent some time in the designing of this crankshaft but yet yeah it's very interesting there is there is also some circular uh, design with uh, you, you can see you can read in the pattern but this one was actually pretty interesting to me because it's this very very similar it works very similar like uh, in the car because we have the cylinders and then we have the pistons moving up and down but instead of this uh, of the, this magnet which will give the magnetic power or magnetic field lines to repel the cylinders uh, pistons we have the fuel coming inside of the cylinder yeah? and that's how the expansion the, the, the explosion is created in these cylinders and it moves the uh, this crankshaft to spin basically this is it so viewers thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this presentation please read the patent if you want to know more maybe i did some mistake in explanation because i it's always stated in each patent that the, the, for those who are skilled of art, they could understand how this works. Yeah? So it's not in the patent. It's not described always everything, and uh, the variations in this which can be used. But in this case, it's like an engine. So thank you for watching. Until next video. Bye bye.